Hi, good morning. This is Brett from Video Hot Rod. I normally don't headbang this much. Okay, today we're going over the Super 8 millimeter filter. And I think the best place to show that, let's show it on these rocks. I think it'll look really cool here. You see what it did there? First off, it made it darker. But what it's doing is reducing the dynamic range, kind of giving you more contrast. But also, look at the sky. I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but it is grainy. It throws a bunch of grain in there because it's supposed to make it look like it's shot with a Super 8 millimeter film um, with a pretty high ISO, I would say. Okay, you have an amount. This is zero amount. And turn it up and you get a little vignetting here and a lot more grain in the clouds and in the light areas, actually all over the place. Um, you have a hue bias. This one's kind of fun. Um, kind of goes from a greenish hue to a magenta hue to a purple hue to a blue hue. Uh, there's even kind of a yellowish in there. So that's a fun one because normally in, in developing Super 8 millimeter film, um, the chemicals and the length of time that, that things stay in the trays will cause it to have a different hue. So this hue bias is, a, is kind of fun to play with. If you've ever seen the movie Traffic, I don't know how it was shot, but they use this hue bias to identify the different areas um, that each event was happening. So in Mexico, for example, as they're showing the clips in Mexico, it's very yellowish. And then as they're showing the clips in United States, for the kids it was blue, and then for the adults it was like pink or magenta. So it was, it was very much like this for the adults, like this for Mexico, and like this for the, for the kids that were taking the drugs in the, in the movie Traffic. Um, I fell asleep in that movie, but it was a good movie. I just, there was no music, and music keeps me awake. <laughs> it just, uh, it was awful. Anyway, good movie. I couldn't take it. Anyway, okay, so let's move on. You have these different stocks, and what this is is, the type of development, um, the type to, of development and how it would be scanned to a computer. So negative stock is you've shot this way, you've shot with the negative film and then you go and you develop it and you have the negatives and they're, if you were to hold them up to light, they would essentially look like this. Okay. And then you use your telecine conversion or your computer or whatever to convert it to a regular looking clip like this. That's how they work. Now you could get reversal stock, which is going to have less dynamic range. Um, and what a reversal stock is, is akin to slide film. Um, instead of being developed as negatives, it's developed as a positive per se. And you can put it in front of the light and show it in there, and that's how the telecine would work on, on this case. It doesn't have to swap the colors out for you. Instead, it, it just shines a light, and that's what you get. Okay, and you notice the difference between the two. The negative stock is going to have a little more dynamic range. Reversal stock is going to be more contrasty. You lose some of the details in these areas. Um, not so much in there, but you do see a lot more grain. Then you have grain. You can remove the grain completely and get this weird oval or you can remove it almost completely and get kind of a nice look. It goes soft because it hasn't been rendered. Or I can increase the grain drastically and make it look like really grainy footage like the movie Traffic. Okay, that was the Super 8 millimeter filter. You can see what it's doing here. Let's render this clip real quick. No stories while I'm rendering this time. It's just not long enough. No stories. Some people like the stories. Some people hate them. Okay. Oh, now it's playing really slow. Thanks for rendering my clip and playing it slowly. Let's do this on another thing. Let's throw it. 
Let's throw it on these rocks. Yeah, throw it on these rocks. This will play better. I think it's the LUT. I did not shoot this footage. I shot this footage. I did not shoot this footage, but it was my camera that shot this footage. I attached it to the side of a car, and while I was driving, my front passenger was using my iPad to control the camera and shoot that footage. He needs to practice. That's why it jumps. And see, it's doing it again. It's getting all choppy. Come on, play right. I think it's the rendering. I don't think it can play it as fast as it wants because it's recording me at the same time. All right, whatever. You've seen what it does. Okay, so that's the Super 8 filter. Let's go on to the next. Well, we're not going to go on to the next. I'm going to leave you hanging for tomorrow, and then I'll go on to the next one tomorrow. The next one's going to be Subway Shadow, so enjoy that one. You're going to have a laugh. All right? This is Brett from Video Hot Rod. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And we'll see you later.